His Holiness' uh, journey to the West and uh, our struggle wasn't that, you know, uh, celebratory as, uh, you know, it uh, was today. With this gold medal, we affirm the special relationship between His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the United States. I remember very well that when His Holiness first came to Europe, and I was fortunate to be uh, part of that entourage. Uh, I remember very clearly when you landed in Rome, which was the first port of entry to Europe, uh, and Rome even didn't have a fancy airport as it has now. And I remember very clearly that there at the airfield, you know, <laughs> there were two figures. One rather very tall, and one rather not very tall. <laughs> the tall was Kong Pala, one of us, you know, very senior advisor of His Holiness, uh, who was a member of the, the government back in Tibet. Anyway, he was there, and together with Sojia Rinpoche. So I really felt that, uh, you know, uh, as I think uh, uh, Kalun Chiba was also uh, indicating, that as you know, uh, Rinpoche's predecessor, Lerub uh, Limba, Tetan Sojia, had extraordinary relation with His Holiness. His Holiness always talks about that. Uh, so I certainly felt from that day on that there was a very special, unique relation between His Holiness and Sojia Rinpoche. And Sojia Rinpoche, you know, from that day on was, in one way or other, was instrumental, is one of the vehicles of His Holiness' message of his uh, effort. So first of all, you know, living inside a personal friendship, I always felt obligated to lend whatever support that I can to Sojia Rinpoche, uh, you know, because he was one of those always, even in the, those days, you know, when we did not have too many friends as we have. Uh, so I just, you know, wanted to share that with you. This Tenzin Gyatso Institute, which bears His Holiness's name, this is for no, really, for no, uh, for small reason. It's a very great significance because His Holiness represents the entire. Tibetan Buddhism, our aspiration, because sometimes after we call him the wish proving Jew. The wish proving Jew is the, also he's the, uh, he is the embodiment of all our prayers. Sometimes his charisma, his power, is the power of all Tibetan people. And I think sometimes like great master like Tingu Kensun Bachi, put so much prayer in him. His own Dalai Lama had so much, Dujum Bachi had so much devotion. I put the prayer in. He's on Kama Pulse, put so much prayer. He's the prayer in him. I think this, these prayers are, so he is the embodied jewel, the prayer of all the lamas, you know, and all the Buddhas anyway. He's the Buddha compassion in human form. Now a few words about His Holiness. It's been an extraordinary day. That he belongs to a tradition that commences. What happened today is historical. Today in honoring a great man of faith and courage. You, members of Congress, and you, Mr. President, are giving power to truth. To see what happened today, to see what the Tibet movement has really achieved. Today we honor him as a universal symbol of peace and tolerance, a shepherd for the faithful, and a keeper of the flame for his people. Even today, when we see this great success of His Holiness, the groundwork for that was laid decades back. It didn't happen overnight. And that first groundwork was done by the Rinpoche's who come to the West. What I'm trying to do with Gary Rinpoche is to really bring all those who are close to His Holiness, such as Samu Rinpoche, Rinpoche, Tenzin Gechela, and others, Tenzin Jantola, and of course, uh, there is Rinjin Dalala and others who know his oldness would come and help us too. So that becomes authentic. As Geram said, half of the Tibetan government is here. So this Tenzin Gatsu Institute is something that really uh, come after many years of deliberation. And we were going to be actually last year going to inform his oldness. And he was oldness was supposed to come to Lerab Link, but it so happened that you know, his oldness couldn't come. And even though some way there's been a delay, as Gerumichi was mentioned to me, maybe it was not yet the time. I really told Rinpoche, and I really felt it. I said, Rinpoche, 
it was not you know meant to happen last year that this was the day this was the time that it was meant to happen and this is the right time because in fact we met his holiness yesterday you cannot really choose you know in a day like this you know yesterday back with his holiness you know he you know gave his you know you know full support and you know he expressed his uh, happiness with the project and then today you know you have this wonderful day so i think uh, it was meant to happen this time uh, and here in washington this is the place has a great potential as i mentioned yesterday to his holiness it is my inner feeling that this has a great potential for preservation and promotion of dharma and its cultural expression under the leadership of uh, sujer mumchi the ripa sangha is doing something very extraordinary patrick very elegantly presented the the uh, the Tenzigatsu Institute, very well. And Sandhu Rinpoche was very kind enough to be there. In fact, Sandhu Rinpoche has been throughout been a great supporter, an inspiration, a guide, and he has actually visited the land. Very warm welcome to the Tenzin Gyatso Institute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming. Rinpoche, we would like you to bless this land and all the good that will happen here over the years. Please pray for the success of our aspirations for the Tenzin Gatsu Institute and our wish to serve as holiness. Thank you.